Greetings, Kirk Vandenberg here with PositiveProjections.com. Okay, today's question is from our longtime friend, Gordon Dodd, a.k.a. Reno Dune, and his subject of his question is virus protection. And Reno writes that he just bought a new MacBook Pro, a very nice one, I might add, and he talked to Apple about virus protection, and they said the built-in firewall should be enough. But the person he spoke with also said in the App Store there are inexpensive programs that also might be useful. So he's writing to see what our recommendation is. Yeah, the person, Reno, that you did talk to is following the Apple Party line. I'm looking here at www.apple.com slash y-mac slash faq slash hash sign viruses. And it says, is a Mac safe from PC viruses? And the answer is yes. This might be a little hedge here saying PC viruses, because of course they would be viruses designed to infect PCs, not Macs. Um, we just haven't seen, uh, we've seen very, very little security intrusion from a virus standpoint on the Mac. But you can read this. You know, they're, they're kind of saying that no computer connect, connected to the inter, internet is completely immune, and the, some of the things that they do, and that they do have a um, uh, built-in uh, firewall and that they constantly are doing security updates, which is true. We've been on the Mac here. We switched over about three and a half years ago and we haven't had any problems. But that said, having come from the PC world where I ran, ran a uh, uh, separate firewall program and a malware keylogger program and two virus protection, not one but two, and still actually got infected once even with all of that, um, I guess I'm still a little paranoid. And um, so we just run this free, free program that's iAntivirus. You can find it at iAntivirus.com. I think they have a, an upgrade. I think their business model is a freemium upgrade where they kind of get you on the kind of basic feature one and then they have an upgrade. You can uh, check that out and see if that's correct or not. I, I, uh, it's been a while, but we just run the free one. And um, I don't know, it's just it gives us a little bit of extra confidence. If you want to, uh, you know, kind of up the ante, you can go with uh, a product from Intego. There's a lot of people that have have virus software, but I've heard really good things about Intego. We actually run, we actually own this, and I ran it for a while. But frankly, I just got tired of all of the um, all the firewall warnings and updates, and then the the resources it took and kind of bogging my computer down. Um, I've run both their virus uh, barrier X6 and their full middle deal here where you've got all these different um, protections and uh, I just didn't think it was necessary and ended up turning it off because it was more of a hassle um, for me than it than uh, I felt like it was worth you know relative to the risk now um, let me show you the system preferences here now this is for snow leopard we're still running snow leopard and uh, we just bought a new Mac that'll have lion on it but uh, I like to wait oftentimes just before I do an upgrade uh, just to just to let that major upgrade go through one revision level where they kind of get some of those uh, bugs out those another set and series of bugs so I don't really know what the lion security looks like but in system preferences for snow leopard uh, it's right here and what we do is I think it's really important to disable automatic login and one reason is if somebody uh, stole your computer you uh, you would have some protection from them getting at your data and then we also require a password to unlock each system preference ah, might seem paranoid but it just takes a second to put the password in and, and we're, we're careful we make sure we, we use uh, secure passwords maybe I'll do a screencast on secure on secure passwords at some time and then we do enable secure virtual memory and um, check this automatically uh, update safe downloads list and uh, dislo we disable the remote control infrared because we don't use it, so might as well disable it. And then for firewall, we definitely turn the firewall on, and um, we don't block in all incoming uh, connections. But I'll tell you, when I'm at a uh, in a hotel or I'm in a coffee shop or I'm traveling different places, I'll oftentimes check this so that um, I have an extra level of security when I'm on public Wi-Fi. These are just all the programs we run and we specifically allow incoming communications. You'll see though for my machine, I made a choice to, uh, to turn, in this case, turn uh, Java off because there can be some, even on a Mac, there can be some security problems with Java. So um, I don't automatically default that. 
And so we're basically saying, you know, automatically allow the signed software to receive incoming uh, connections. And uh, the software is listed here. And then I enable stealth mode. I don't know if it's that important, but it, what it does is it just makes the computer, uh, you know, either invisible or very difficult, depending on who you talk to, to see on a network. So, and again, the lion settings are going to be a little different, but that gives you the concept. So there you go. And if you have any more questions, you can go to heartbeatofquay.com slash positive dash projections with a slash on the end and uh, scroll down and enter your question right here. All right, everyone. Take care.